Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to fold out knife plates and then sew them into place. Okay, so here I have a simple template I made up and um, just to kind of go over what uh, how pleats work a little bit. They're made up of three parts. Okay, you have your fold line or crease line, you have your inside fold, and then you have your placement fold. Okay, and these are just simple knife pleats. So what's going to happen is this fold line or crease line gets creased and then it's and then we bring it over and place it on the placement line. It's that simple, okay? These are just simple uh, one inch knife pleats, all right? So when they're finished, they'll be a total of one inch. To create a one inch knife pleat, you need a total of two inches. So from this first fold line to the inside fold is an inch, and then from the inside fold to the placement line is an inch. So that's a total of two inches. But then when it's folded up, it will only be one inch deep. So. Uh, to continue on, I've notched each of these lines at the top and bottom so I can easily match up my pleats. I'm going to remove this template and you can see this first pleat I actually drew the lines all the way down so you can see it better. And then I actually, I also, and it's also color coded. I also color coded the rest of the notches too just so it hopefully helps, um, it makes it a little easier to understand what's happening. Okay, so the first thing I want to do for my pleats is I want to pin them in place. Okay, so let's go ahead and pin these in place. So this red, this red line indicates my fold line or my crease line. The green line is the inside fold and the blue line is the placement line where this line, the first fold line, gets placed. All right, so I'm gonna just turn this like this. I'm gonna crease this first pleat, okay? And remember I have the notches down here to help me as well. I'm gonna crease that first pleat and I'm going to bring it right over to the placement line and line it up and I'm going to match the notches with that first fold line with the placement line notches. And I'll pin it down here and I'll pin it up here as well. Okay, so there's the first pleat. And I'm going to press these before I um, sew them. Now let's go ahead and create our next pleat. All right, so here's my first notch second notch, third notch, so fold line, inside fold, placement line. I'm gonna take that first notch, I'm gonna crease it, that's my fold line, and I'm gonna bring it here to my outer notch, which is the placement line. And I'm gonna go ahead and put those in place, pin those in place, line up those notches. All right, and then I have one more pleat to create. So I have my fold line, inside fold, placement line. Let's go ahead and take that fold line and bring it right to the placement line. Same thing up here. And there we go. I've folded out three pleats, okay? Now, there's a couple things I could do. There's many ways to um, create these pleats, many styles of pleats, right? So if I wanted, I could just stitch whatever my seam allowance is here, like a half inch, right at the top. And so they basically just kind of start pleated and then kind of go off into fullness, okay? Or I can press these pleats in place and then stitch across the top and I'd have a nice clean pleat all the way down, okay? And that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so what we're gonna do is gently press these pleats in place. I'm just gonna start in the middle and kind of work down and then up. And then I can go ahead and remove the pins from the bottom, like so. And then also from the top. There we go. I've now pressed my pleats or set them in. You can kind of see them now. Okay, I don't want to move them too much because I haven't stitched it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead here and stitch, just stay stitched across the top to hold it in place. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so again, I'm going to stay stitched across the top at a half inch just to hold them in place. These would eventually be sewn into a waistband or some part of the garment. And this will just keep it, make it a little easier to Hold it in place. All 
All right, there it is stitched right across the top. And now you can see, get in here, there we go. There it is, I have my three pleats. Okay. All right, and it's just that simple. Now, these pleats are complete and done. Um, I could also make these kind of release pleats where I stitch down from the top right along the crease of the pleat and that would hold the pleat in place and then it wouldn't release until after that stitching stops. Okay, so I just want to quickly show you what that looks like as well. So again, these are perfectly acceptable, but you could also stitch it down to a certain point. Okay, so I'm just going to mark on here real quick, like two inches down from the top here and just give myself a quick mark to stitch to. It's even. It's right there. There we go. Let's go ahead and I'll show you what this looks like to stitch these down now. All right, so on each of these, I'm gonna stitch about a 16th of an inch away from the opening of the pleat where that crease is. just to kind of stitch it down and hold it in place. Make sure you back tack in the beginning and the end of each of these rows of stitching. Don't want it coming out. Okay, there we go. So I've now stitched down for like two inches at the top of each of these pleats. And you can see now the pleat doesn't start opening until after that stitching. Okay, and this is nice to do like on pants or even a skirt if you wanna kinda of keep it more fitted to the body for a certain amount of space, you know, or length, and then the pleats can open up and kinda of give you that more fullness look. Okay, and this is the wrong side of them, that's how it looks. All right, and that's a simple knife pleat. And again, this is acceptable with or without it. It's really up to you in the design and what you want from your design. All right, good luck everyone.